Hey traders, got the DAX market five minute chart in front of us here. Just want to go through three trades that I took from today's price action, this morning's price action on the DAX, the German stock index, and really popular market this for day trading and usually offers up two or three at least trading opportunities in the first couple of hours. So this is the chart in front of us is the chart that I had as I approached my computer this morning. As per every morning, I do a quick overview of the market to start getting ideas as to where I might be looking for trading opportunities. And so what you can actually see in front of you is, and what we have is we've got candlestick price bars and their black and white. We've also got the 8 and the 20 EMAs, the 8 EMA being the blue line and the 20 EMA being the red line. So as you can see I've condensed the bars on the chart. Well, we're not interested in the content at this point in time, we're interested in the context. So building a context for the likely trades this morning. So what we've got in front of us is we've got the we've got a trading range and so the market was in an uptrend right up to this level here which is an all time high which was achieved on Friday morning and since then it's been in a trading range and so we've been making higher highs and higher lows all the way up to this particular level for several weeks and we're in a trading range at the top of the market here. So starting to see signs that the market may be weakening. We've got here a run of lower lows and as you can see this being a low, lower high potentially here and a lower low. So the market's starting to give indications that it might be looking to pull back from the highs slightly. So what we've also got on the chart is we've got horizontal levels drawn on and the levels that we've got are, as I say, the all time high up here. We've got yesterday's price action drawn on here in the grey area, grey box here. So we've got yesterday's high up here. We've got yesterday's close, which was here, uh, which is the orange line there, just above the middle of the chart. And we've got yesterday's low down the bottom here. So since yesterday's close, price action did make that lower low, but it quickly went back within the range that's developed between yesterday's close and yesterday's low. So well, as you can see, just approaching eight o'clock and the market is right in the middle of the range between yesterday's close and yesterday's low. So what I'd be expecting to see is I'd be expecting to see some kind of price action, some sort, some sort of reaction when the market either hits the recent high here of yesterday's close or the low here. So I'm going to be looking for what happens there just before that time. We may get reactions at the overnight highs here and the overnight lows here. So the market's been in this smaller range up until 8 o'clock this morning for the last 8 hours or so. So this, this, this particular area here is very small in size, it's only 15 points. Unlikely that we'll find a trade down from the top here and or up from the bottom here and actually fit the a, a very small candlestick at the top or a very cut small candlestick at the bottom to take a trade up or a trade down so that's unlikely to happen more likely that we're going to see some kind of reaction at yesterday's close or yesterday's low okay so you can see that there's roughly 15 points separating where we're going to open in the market today and yesterday's close. That's a very small gap and I'd expect that to be closed at some point in time during the morning session. So we're going to be looking to see what happens at the range high and the range low. And when I say we're going to be looking to see what happens, what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for do, do we get rejection? Okay, so in terms of rejection, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for pins, I'm looking for spikes that stick out of the range. So you can see a perfect example here. The market went up, came down and left a spike. Another one here, 
market came down, rapidly bought up at this particular level here, left a spike. Lots of different spikes down here. So candlestick bars that represent or that present themselves just like that is what I'm going to be looking to see. You can also see that we've got the pivot levels drawn in here as well. So the pivot is almost exactly in the middle of our trading range. So let's just fast forward and see what actually occurred during the morning session. So you can see that the market did make some quick moves within the overnight range and then broke out and closed the gap to yesterday's close. So what sort of candlesticks did we get at yesterday's close? Well, you can see the spikes already before I zoom in here. And what we actually did get is we got some perfect signals. So let's just have a look at this in more detail. So market opened with this bar here, big bear bar, and quickly reversed up off overnight lows and closed the gap. So we got a perfect reversal at the top. We got a bullish pin bar followed by a bearish pin bar, bearish reversal pin bar. So perfect signals at the top of the market. And that was the first trade that I took. So I took a trade as the market broke the low of that particular bearish pin bar. I went short, stop went above the high of the day so far. And we're looking for two to one risk to reward from that particular trade from for this trade trades that I take on the five minute chart I very often will look for two to one risk to reward and treat them as swing trades as you can see in this particular case the market actually went straight down it was a big strong move and we reached target just around about yesterday's low which was perfect so within that downward move we also got a couple of opportunities on the one minute chart so as i say with the dax it's a very quick moving very fast moving market and very often the in, in the first couple of hours there's some good opportunities based on the one minute chart so you can see that there's my five minute swing trade so entry there exiting around about here for two to one and so what we actually get in here what, what what i'm looking for this is a strong move down and i'm looking for momentum trades i'm looking for the market to pull back and then bounce off either the 8 or the 20 ema and the first pullback real pullback that we got was this one here okay so this was this was actually a perfect pullback for me we got a double doji resting on the 8 EMA. So we get a pullback, it's diagonal, which is great. There are very small bars in the pullback, small in comparison to the big bearish bar here. And so this double doji, we got uh, the first doji here and the second doji here. And the second doji was actually inside the first one. It was an inside bar, which is even better. And so good opportunity for a low risk trade. So entry being below the low of the second doji and stop being above the doji highs. So you can see that there's very small risk involved with this particular trade and we actually got two to one before, almost before we knew it with the market coming down here. This is this level exactly here is 12,950 and so I was keen to get out of the trade just before this level but we got two to one risk to reward out of that within less than a minute which was fantastic so we also got we got another one which was another trade which was almost identical the market pulled back off these off this big bear bar here after I'd taken profit you can see that we got some lows here a very small pullback and we've got a doji bar there but it wasn't close enough to the EMA for me to think about considering it as a as a pullback at all really. I like to see the bars nestled into either the 8 or the 20 EMA before taking another trade short and we did actually this again this is another variation of a double doji up at the 
uh, 8 EMA you can see that nestled in into the 8 EMA and very very small bar so again you the, the risk on these with these very small bars by the exponential moving averages is really low and the entries below the second of these two very small doges with the risk being there okay so uh, on this particular this is the third trade that I got within this momentum move uh, at this stage was still in the five minute trade and well, I'm more than aware that I'm just about going to get one to one risk to reward as the market reaches yesterday's low however with the DAX the institutions very very often go stop hunting around these particular important levels and what I mean by that is that there are lots of protective stops people who bull traders who are looking to take the market up in the on the longer ter time frame uh, place their protective stops below yesterday's low and institutional traders will seek those stops out so when the market reaches this particular level rather than bouncing it absolutely careered through the level as it took the sec the uh, as it took the stops out and it wasn't until it got right down here that we actually started to get the rejection so I was looking for two to one hoping for two to one from this particular trade I would have taken one to one if the market had have got here and then started rejecting but it didn't it just careered through these levels and so I got out somewhere around about here and so this is a really good example as to how to trade momentum one swing trade two mini scalp trades if you like on the one minute chart on the DAX hopefully you get a good insight into the type of trades that I'm looking to take three trades within this 30 minute momentum move on the DAX hope you found this video useful my name is Anthony Beardsall if you're interested in learning to trade if you want to day trade on the DAX you want to learn how to day trade on the DAX then plenty more of these sort of videos on the way so please subscribe to the channel join us at excellence assured and for those of you looking to learn how to trade then we've got a day trading and swing trading training course that's just perfect for you so thanks ever so much for joining you see you on the next video